Fun fact. Some of the world's oldest porn, carved into rocks in China, over 3,000 years ago, features both male and female same-sex couples. The ancient Greeks didn't even categorize people as homosexual or heterosexual. They only distinguished between whether you were taking an active or a passive role in sex. And gender. Oh my goodness! In Siberia, the Chuchki people used to recognize seven different genders in addition to male and female. But it wasn't all good times. Homosexuality was sometimes severely punished under religious order in much of Europe. And then there was the Industrial Revolution, which was all about men and women making more little workers to make more money for the factory owners. So, capitalism didn't really help. And then, of course, there was fascism. Very dark times for us. The LGBTIQ community has always found ways to survive. We are survivors. In the 1900s, gay men in Britain made up a whole slang language called Polari to communicate without fear of being arrested. I just need to shoot up my rear a bit. I wouldn't want to look nothing. <laughs> it's always been a bit of a struggle for us. But a struggling pays off when we win our rights. Like a couple of years ago, when activists convinced the government of Malta to change the laws and ban therapies to turn homosexuals into straight people, allow people to officially identify as transgender or intersex, and make schools safe for LGBTIQ students. Wow. So, if no one was really worried about your gender, or sexuality over 3,000 years ago. And we understand that humans have rights today. Isn't it time we all just got over it? <laughs>